What's going on, YouTube? It is Coach MT back here with some more incredible value. Um, now, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, we're getting we're getting better at this information. We're getting deeper into this information, and I want to make sure you all get what you need. Okay, so um, we're going to talk a little bit today about the UCC one becoming a secure party creditor. Um, now, this is for just educational purposes only um I, I i listen i know there's a lot of information out there yeah, yes i do this this rabbit hole goes really 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 deep all right so make sure you do your research make sure you look up the information make sure you buy the books okay um where are my books i'll talk a lot about the ucc connection okay um even get the ucc code uh, i'm getting ready to order the ucc code book so I, I know there's a lot of information out here. I know a lot, there's a lot of people who share information and um, I'm just wanting in the individuals just, just to kind of introduce it to you so that you can say, okay, this is something, this is a process that's out there. All right. So I am doing this myself. Let me cover my address. Okay. Here's mine. Get ready to go to the secretary of state. All right. I got mine filled out in here. Of course, I send everything by certified mail, of course, so I can, I can follow it. I'm also going to put a return receipt on the back as well. Okay. So do your research. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about this information. Um, I have a template and a video I go over with all this written out inside of the DIY program. Okay. But I just want to introduce this to you because this is how you become a secure party. Um, when you become a secure, secure party, you know, what you're doing is creating a con a contract with yourself to protect your assets, right? Like your house, your car, um, you know, things that you have purchased uh, to protect your assets. Um, and so that's what this 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 process does, okay? Um, now you can put a lien against your own assets as well. You could do, you know, half a million, million dollars, $5 million. You don't wanna go anything higher than that. You wanna stay below, below the radar, okay? So, um, now make sure before you, you know, you put a lien on anything that is paid off. So like if you try to put a lien against your house is not paid off. If someone wants to put a lien against your house, then your lien becomes second position. Their lien becomes first, yours becomes second. And of course, you know that that lien has to be paid off before any other, any other money is paid out. Okay. So, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about on here is the information between the debtor and the secure party. All right. Now I'll talk more about this uh, more in my uh, in my DIY program. You can go get it. Um, the template will be completely filled out. Um, even the information I put here in the box will be in there. I'll have the full template uh, minus my my personal information that you can use. Okay. Now you're asking, well, Coach, how'd you learn this stuff? I researched. I looked it up. I found people. I said, okay, how do you do this? And I did the research. Okay. And I was like, okay. And then, you know, somebody I knew personally said, hey, I saw you talking about this. I did it. Here's what I have. And, you know, we went over it. So now I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you. OK, so the difference is what you put as a secure party's name and as the debtor. All right. Now, secure party, you want to put your information. All right. You you are the secure party. So you want to type it in like this. You want to type in colon last. All right, first hyphen, okay, and then you want to type in first hyphen and then middle, okay? That's how you want to put it. Now, if you have any suffix, suffixes, <laughs> you put that in there as well. Now, as far as the, the mailing address goes, you want to put your address and you want to put the city and then the state you want to type all the way out. So since I live in Georgia, uh, you want to type this out. Now, the thing about it is that to get that to fit in there, you're going to have to find something that um, find a program that adjusts um, uh, PDFs. OK, I have this. I have a couple of programs that adjust PDFs. something like PDF filler, PDF filler dot com. That's a great way you, you can upload your PDFs in there and adjust it however you want to. But you want the state to be written out full and then you want the, the postal code to be in brackets okay and then the country is usa all right so but you want to put the state in here but you want to be typed out 
pdffiller.com is, is a great service. I think it's like $20 a month. Or if you have like an, some, you know how to do Adobe, adjust Adobe as well. But there are a lot of PDF um, uh, adjustment programs out there that, that, that can help you to adjust PDFs, all right? So that's how you want to do this part. Now, up here, the debtor is your straw man, okay? That is your name in all caps. So it will be first, middle, and then last. And then, and that's the organization. Now there's some things you wanna type after this. I know one of them is like non-belligerent, okay? And there's like two other things that you wanna type on there as well too, along with your name. And then your mailing address is your address in all caps. All right, your city in all caps, state in all caps, everything is in all caps when you're doing it. Well, you can't do numbers in all caps, okay? But you are doing a contract against yourself, but actually doing it against your straw man, okay? And so that's how you become a secure party. And there, there's a way you felt this information here at the top, but that's gonna be inside the program. But I just wanted to introduce this to you because when you become a secure party, it, re it really kind of opens up a lot of things for you. You have like, you have banker-like power, right? <laughs> you have banker-like power. And um, another thing that you want to do is, um, you know, if, if you don't have, it has to do with your birth certificate. What's my birth certificate? It's uh, it's right here. I'm getting ready to authenticate my birth certificate as well. But uh, your birth certificate, your birth certificate, you, you will want to have a um, certificate of live birth, not a birth certificate. They're two separate things. So one is called certificate of live birth, which I do have. My birth certificate says certificate of live birth, you know, because I was born back in the in the in the 1700s, okay. And then there is a uh, one called the uh, the uh, uh, your your um, your birth certificate, okay. And if you just have a birth certificate, you definitely want to make sure you get that authenticated. And I'll make a video about that as well too, with the letter that you can use to get authenticated. And whatever state you were born in because you know I live in Georgia now but I was born in Ohio so you want to make sure you get that authenticated in the state that you were born in if you just have a, a birth certificate instead of a certificate of live birth and you're like well coach what's the difference look it up look up what the difference is okay the, the, the greatest thing about this process is doing the research right looking it up learning reading getting educated you know, because I, I was like that at first. I want to know every little thing. How do you do this? What I say after that? Well, they told me no. What do I do now? And I wasn't getting anywhere because I wasn't doing the research myself. When I started to do the research myself and started looking for the information and focusing on the information, that's when more information came to me because information is like, okay, you want more of me. All right. That, that's just how energy flows. Whatever you focus on grows. But if you're just focusing on, um, getting a quick hitter or hoping somebody tells you everything, it, 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 it won't allow you to grow, all right? So I'm just one of those individuals who are, is finding this information and willing to willing to share it and willing to give it to you and willing to say, hey, this is how you do it. This is how you become free. So the, the full, um, the full uh, uh, template is gonna be in the program. It's gonna be how to become a secure party in there and how to fit file this, especially the information you put in here. This this was the most challenging part for me. Like, how do you do this down here? And what does all this mean down here? And so I have that inside of there. And then once you get that filled out, you print it, and then you send it to the Secretary of State of whatever state you live in. And then if you, and then to get your birth certificate authenticated, you do the Secretary of State of the state that you were born in, okay? So I'm gonna do a video on that as well too. And I think on that video, I think I may give you the template in the in the description area. OK, so uh, Coach MT, just want to make sure I, I got this out to you again. Do do your research. And then another thing, this is just educational purposes. I know there's a lot of information out there. I know that the information goes in here may be different than what you saw somewhere else or, or what you have. I know the information going up here may be different. What goes here? I'm just a voice for one way or it might be the way okay I, I know there's a lot do the research okay get knowledgeable about this process so that you know what you're doing okay i'm just here to say hey i'm doing it as well too so that when you're doing it you know there's someone out there that's doing it as well too that you may follow that you just started following and is willing to share how to do it all 
right? So, and I have a lot of people say, well, why do you charge for it? You know, there's no money out there. Why are you charging? Because of the time. There was money I spent to learn the information, right? Because I went out there searching for it, bought the books, got on the webinars, talked to the people. Um, you know, I, I, I've gotten on um, one-on-one Zooms and I had to pay for the Zoom. I'm like, okay, this is great. How do you do this? Um, you know, so and it's just and then it's just a, a place for you for you to also like get some skin in the game. Right. When you invest in yourself, then it really grows. Right. When you're when you invest in yourself and you're willing to, um, you know, pay and plant that seed, it just helps other things grow as well, too. And then, you know, we're always going to be adding to it. So it will be a place you can always come to learn some more information, because as as I learn and as we learn, because, you know, uh, I'm, I'm putting together a, a nice group of people that are talking about how to buy, uh, you know, cars and how homes with 1099As. I finally got the email to someone that does this. Um, I finally found some more car lots that you could talk to a person that does this. So, um, but I, you know, I want to make sure I call them first. I want to make sure I get the information first. All right. And say, hey, do you do this? Yeah, we do it. How does it work? Here's how it works. So it, it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. I know, I know you all are, you know, biting at the, chomping at the bit, but it, it is coming. I, I want to make sure that, especially when it comes to purchasing things with a 1099A, that we have the remedy in case there's any, any hangups. Okay. So Coach MT, go pick this up inside the DIY program. Um, I hope, you know, I hope you, this, this kind of moves you into that, to that next next stage for you. You got any questions, you got any comments, concerns, whatever, leave the, the leave it down below. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.